Hey guys! It is part four of this Goodreads challenge and this is gonna be the last part so I am super excited. It is Monday. Just to recap the last video really quick, this makes me so mad. I just wanted to show you guys how close I was to the finish line in Kit Sweetly. This is how much I had left. The main character, oh my god, I don't like her at all. And also what I forgot to mention about the missing season is that it was disappointing in the fact that I expected more from the plot. This was very character driven and I don't mind that. I love books that are character driven. But I think for this one, just I had my mind made up. I was like, ooh, I am excited to see how the plot twists and turns. And I felt like the plot was kind of just forgotten. That's what I was looking forward to the most. So yeah, that's just a quick little update from my last video. But for this video, I only have two books to read. They kind of match. <laughs> we have obsidian sky by amy braun i honestly do not remember much so i'm gonna have to go back and read my reviews for book one and two i might just reread it from the beginning because i'm on page 20 the salt grows heavy there's only 97 pages don't know which one i'm leaning towards the most but i think i might start with obsidian sky so yeah, i think that's the plan for today I also do need to edit another video today because i want it to go up tomorrow don't know if i'm gonna have time to read today but i'm gonna try my best if not yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow but before that i do want to show off my shirt thanks to my sister because she went to the store and she saw this and she sent me a picture and i was like i need to go get it it's corpse bride <laughs> it's like in the form of a tarot card i love her so much my so quick update i just finished editing everything for the video that i want to put up tomorrow i have my snack i just read my reviews for the previous books and i love and hate that I don't do spoilers but that would have really helped me now when I need to figure out what the heck happened in books one and two but yeah past me really fell in love with these characters you just hope that it didn't grow out of these stories because Amy Braun is badass Amy does not shy away from making her characters go through hell it is brutal so I write the dates of when I start reading a book and when I finish it I started reading this 2017 it's been six years that is ridiculous i hope i fall in love with her writing all over again Hello! It's Wednesday, very early in the morning. I am in the middle of breakfast. I completely forgot that I wanted to update you guys. I didn't do any reading yesterday because I'm having a lot of trouble sleeping and staying asleep. I just took a nap after work yesterday, just drank a protein shake, and kind of just tried to go back to sleep for the rest of the night. But on Monday, I did manage to reach halfway into Obsidian Sky. I am so excited. Like, Yes, I am attached to the characters. Not as much as past me was. Her characters are badass. I'm glad to be reading something of hers again. Something happened at the end right there. I don't really like it. It makes me question everything else from the previous books. We'll see if I end up getting on board with the way that the plot is going. I'm on chapter 12, page 150. I can't wait to see how Amy's gonna wrap this up because it's intense. <laughs> Today I have kind of a busy day. I'm gonna try and hit the gym after work before I have to go to therapy. I will see you guys later. Bye!
Oh my gosh guys, I'm vlogging in public. I am running on fumes right now. I've been awake since 3 in the morning and I'm freaking dying. I am super early to my appointment, almost 50 minutes early. <laughs> I'm gonna try and read, I don't know, but my eyes hurt so bad. It is now Thursday. I had work again. I did not sleep. So I was really struggling to stay awake at work. I was seriously scared I wouldn't make it home awake. But I got home and immediately just think I slept for like seven hours. I have not been sleeping, not even half of that. It was still kind of restless, but yeah, it really helped. I'm starting to feel a little normal. I think I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the week. I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym. But I did do some reading just a little bit before my therapy appointment yesterday. I read to page 164. I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing for the rest of the day. I've started up my Animal Crossing and let's see where the night takes me. So it's Friday afternoon. I don't really have much of an update for you guys. I haven't read much. I'm on chapter 14, page 174. We are going to be traveling out of town, so I'm going to see if I can, I don't know, read in the car. But yeah, today my brother and I just did some shopping in the morning and I did some laundry, but yeah, I haven't really done much today. I'll try and film some clips for you guys.
it is sunday and i do have an update for you guys i finished obsidian sky i don't know what rating i'm gonna give it just yet i'm gonna let it sink in a little bit just have a novella to read and this challenge is done i am gonna go grocery shopping with my sister really quick depending on what time we get home i might be able to finish the salt grows heavy but i'm also hungry so i will talk to you guys later now monday i finished the salt grows heavy this was so good it surprised me how much i actually really liked it because <laughs> i was not liking it from the beginning I was doing a lot of telling and i was not liking that i want to see it happen yeah the stuff that we did get to see i really liked it it's a horror novella so it's a little disturbing but man i love these two i wish we could get like a few more novellas out of them but i feel like this might be close to a i kind of want to say four stars like a 3.9 i don't know yet but i think obsidian sky is gonna be like around the same but those two are down which means my goodreads challenge is now complete i'm super excited about that now i have a clean slate i can read whatever i want without any guilt <laughs> i guess we'll just go through them really quick oh i also read carol lake by kat ellis then i read the last hope by krista and betha ritchie this one has to be my number one favorite and i also read the project by courtney summers i read another by yukito ayatsuchi and then i also read the missing season by Gillian french <sighs> And then it's our two DNFs, The Life and Medieval Times of Kid Sweetly by Jamie Facton, Frankly in Love by David Yoon. Yeah, these are all of the books that I read in these vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching them. I can't wait to see what other books I read, but I'll see you guys on the next one, whenever that may be. Bye!